with Scratch, it's possible for everyone, literally everyone, to create their own interactive stories and games and animations and simulations and then share their creation with the world. I think in the past, computer programming has been seen as something that's only for a limited subset of the population, people with lots of background in mathematics and technology. With Scratch, it opens the door for everyone to be able to express their ideas with computers, to be able to have their voice be heard through their creations and to share them with others around them, whether they're creating an interactive birthday card for a friend or creating a public service announcement for their community or just making a game for a younger brother to play. People can use computers now to create whatever's in their imagination. In the future, I hope that whenever anybody wants to create something dynamic and interactive with new technologies, they'll think of turning to Scratch, whether they want to make an uh, animation on their mobile phone or be able to do some simulation for school on the laptop computer, that Scratch will be a new tool to let people create whatever they want, wherever they want, whenever they want if, with new technologies. We first introduced Scratch six years ago in 2007, there were actually two separate parts of Scratch. There was a programming environment you had on your local machine where you created your Scratch animations and games. And then there was an online community where you could upload your project to share with other people around the world. And that worked okay, but people had to go back and forth between those two worlds. With Scratch 2.0, the two worlds come together. Now people can create their Scratch projects directly in the web browser, right online. And if they see someone else's project online, they can see the Scratch program, the Scratch scripts right there and start experimenting with their programming blocks and making changes and trying new things. So it makes it much easier to bring together the worlds of creating and sharing. We think it's great that people around the world have been exploring how to extend Scratch because we want Scratch to be able to meet the interests and, and passions of everyone. And one way of doing that is to stretch Scratch off of the computer screen and into the world. So it's been great how people have been connecting Scratch to the Microsoft Connect to you can interact with the Scratch projects by moving your body or connecting Scratch to Lego Robotics so that kids could control their robots from Scratch. And we've certainly been following the Scratch for Arduino effort because uh, we think that really opens up new possibilities for people to join the online world with the physical world. And that will attract a broader range of people uh, who can you know, bring their passions to, you know, to, to Scratch uh, and to control uh, the world around them. Uh, right now, we're starting to work on a version of Scratch implemented in HTML5 and JavaScript, which is becoming a standard for online uh, you know, projects. And we think that will open up more possibilities for Scratch. We also want to make it easier for outside developers to make extensions to Scratch. So hopefully, with our new version of Scratch, it will be possible for groups like the Scratch for Arduino group to, to be able to make extensions, add their own programming blocks to extend Scratch. The Scratch 2013 conference has just started, but it's been wonderful to be here and to meet people from the Scratch community from throughout Europe and throughout the world. Uh, it's somewhat like a family gathering for us. It's great to see people who are doing exciting things with Scratch. We always learn so much when we meet with people in the Scratch community to see all of the ways that they are using Scratch. So I've already had some great conversations 
with people from around the world using Scratch. And I look forward to the next few days to be able to learn more about how people are creating and exploring with Scratch. It's also great to have the Scratch conference here in the City Lab facility. It's a beautiful facility. Uh, so I think it's a great venue for bringing together the imaginative and creative members of the Scratch community.